Okay, so here we are at Gundelsheim, Gundelsheim Quarry. It's a limestone quarry in uh, Jurassic limestone, and we're looking at a single bedding plane exposure outside of the Reese Impact Crater. We're about one crater radius away from the outer wall of the Reese Impact Crater, and we're looking at the effects of the travel of soft ejector carrying huge blocks traveling over limestone and how it's grooved the surface. So what we're measuring are these brown colored grooves that travel across the rock surface and they give you the orientation of the movement of the impact breccia. The impact breccia is over here on my left containing huge blocks contained within a matrix dominantly of clay and very fine grained ashy particles. And this material was moving, it moved more than 50 kilometers away from the Reese impact crater and was up to 100 meters in thickness at this point. Um, the glacial features, you might call them if you were mistaken, these grooves look very similar to the grooves you get formed by glaciers slowly, but here they were formed fast at the base of a, an impact breccia. The impact breccia itself is called the Bunty breccia. It's very soft and in geological time it will disappear. It's very difficult to preserve it. So it's only here because the impact crater is so young that we're able to come and observe it. And uh, we're making measurements of the uh, grooved surface in a statistical way to try and work out if we could really judge the direction of orientation of the, of the ejector blanket.